Um, we're gonna go talk to the crew. Yeah, talk to the crew. How are you doing, Morden? Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Ooh, Primitive shit. ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? Um, no. I'll let you work. I thought I'll be here if you need me. Gauss would have been troubled. Ah, uh, Shepard takes less family attacks. We searched. Prototypes? Nah. Armor. By attack damage. We searched. Weapons. Some machine gun ammo. We searched. I mean, damage. Attack damage. We searched. Attack duration. We searched. For the types, why can't I do these? I don't understand. I got that. Let's go see Jacob. Commander, can I help you with something? Opinion what of the do you crew? think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full comp. Anything else, Commander? Thoughts on the mission? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. Oh, that's still. Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested Already? in this I'm not big on forcing these talks. We'll talk, Commander. So he doesn't have anything to say but gifts. Give us. How's Joker doing? I haven't been to see him. Why do I have one with my head dead? Heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's That'd great. Because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. <laughs> So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. <laughs> what do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. Not like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? Fair. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Um... Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come yeah. on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Saren Sovereign, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. <laughs> we need your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. <laughs> It's a, it's got a mute button. Use it. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still <laughs> watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's <laughs> special and he sets fires or something. Okay, what the hell? Too but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Your problem, not mine. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Well, let's go see the other crew. Kelly? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. Yeah, it's just, I will leave him. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be alright. What? I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? Um... Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Yeah, Anything I figured. else, Commander? 
Do you have a moment? I to always talk? have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. I've already talked about well that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The terminal. Oh, what the hell? Glad you're okay from Kate Bullman. Called in some favors and found out how you get how to get you and what you are working on. I figured finding out Stag Collins is why you had to go on cover. I wanted to know. There's a lot of crazy military that right I'm glad there's someone. Okay. Um from Martin Bones, who's that? Said this would reach you. I wanted to know that I haven't forgotten what you did for me the day those crazy biotics took. Oh, that's him. Good luck. I have taken a p political heat, so. Alright. John Wittenstein. Oh, yeah, gave me this address. I think I met you at the afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up. Those mulks who were trying to make take an archangel, man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive. Thanks. Ah, yeah, you're welcome, kid. Yeah, yeah, five. Project Firewalker, show, show. A landmark fine for humanity, show. Alright. Enter Eclipse and rescue the Sobus op operative. What's some of this operative? I don't know. Let's go check out the crew room. See how Amanda, Kasumi, if Kasumi will talk to me this time. Didn't talk to me last time. Hey, got a minute? Yeah. Zaid's strolling around like he owns the place. But he seems a little confused. Twenty years of seeking revenge, and now it's over. <laughs> You, sh you asked if I got a minute, and then you don't want to talk? I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Okay, so she just never talks? Oh, what's this one? Life support. Can't go in there yet. Don't know if I ever want to, to be honest. <laughs> that sounds bad. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well. And the ship appears to be performing to specifications. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Alright. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. So, maybe not. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's down here? The main battery. Oh, this is Gears's Gears. What's this area of the ship? Mm -hmm. the gunnery control station. The ship's batteries are controlled from here. The combat information center operators send targeting information here. The CIC decides who to shoot. Gunnery control decides how to shoot. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Let me upgrade the Thanax Cannon to a design. Thanax Cannon is researched. Let's go, we got the cannon. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. Alright. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. That's good. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. <laughs> yeah, not with them. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What happened? What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. 
We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, so gangs. Or gangs that went too far. Ooh, thug pussy. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. <laughs> my manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. What happened? How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. How'd you get that explains you? how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us. Oh, Jesus. Me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. Just like me. How do those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. It's always a Turian. Everyone except me is dead because of Saving him. And because him. I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. Ah. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedona's is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedona's. One day I'll find him and correct that. I can help you. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. I can help you in taking down Sedonis. I can help you out if you so desire. And your new in deck. This is only houses uh, Zaid's Zaid. Back for another lesson. And of course, he uh, never talks. So into my captain's cabin. My fish are dead. Oh shit. So you actually have to <laughs> feed them? So it was automated. Automated. Guess it wasn't automated. Relic. Hmm. Oh, I got my M7 helmet right there. Inferno armor. T. Negotiation. So this. Oh, there's the terminus. Because it's stone speed. Shields. Let's, uh. Let's use that one for now. You know, I gotta change it up. Space hamster. 
And there's my space hamster. What is this? Okay. Um, ba 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 combat. No messages for you, Commander. Alright. Let's go back to Omega and uh, give all of you that uh, message. And then see what is left to do. Give all of you the message. Got to give all of you the message. Boost your powers. And, uh... Ooh. Ah, uh, you still got, got nothing. There we go. Tone Renegade Health Damage. There we go. Aye. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works Good. for me. Got something to report? There's Hello, an awful Belch. lot of Fortia here. What are they planning? Fortia? They're a pestilence, nothing more. I'll just be Keep going. up the good work. B -b 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 Come on, let me in. Let's go give the... Yeah, that's still a mission, isn't it? Uh, data pad, yep. No. Give me another drink, love. I never know which pair of eyes to look at. You wanna talk? Talk to Aria. Alright, they ain't to. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Uh, I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks Gawker. for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Who's good? Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? Okay. That depends on what Aria has in mind. Aria's gotten word that some blood packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. P Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. <laughs> some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Aria's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. <laughs> as long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this. Got me? Yeah. If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. All right. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. I'll be back when the job's done. 
So what's the exact mission? And patriarch, okay, patriarchy, patriarch. Move. Oh. Ooh, Helen and Blake. Commander Shepard, is that you? The crime lord. I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years yes. ago. I don't expect the you to remember. Lord. You removed two criminal warlords from power oh, and warlords, whoever you want persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, Opportunity success, success, failure, failure all, all of the above. above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah, even if you think I'm dead I'm and you can go back, I'll turn now, back up. <laughs> believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. Fair. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You're welcome. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important Sick. things to do. The fudge? A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack by dissidents from former Council races. Oh, there's a low wood to this. Oh, huh. Dance. That's downstairs. What's down here? Oh, that's Patriarch. Okay. Move. I want to explore first. Patron. Patron. Dance. Yeah, I'm just dancing by myself as always. Blue sun's just casually around here. Okay, there's no one to talk to. Except for full Vaughn. Full Vane. I'll take a drink before I go talk to Patriarch. What the hell? Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make, but who's still Shepard, are you all right? What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. What the hell? Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. So I was posing? That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, what the hell? He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. What the hell? That is dead. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I get here even made a dent in this. Yeah.
Well, let's go give that. What do you want? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. God damn it. I have to go all the way around. Have to go all the way around again. Buddy tried to kill me. You don't kill Dane Shepard and walk away from it. Unless I let you. I ain't letting you until on, I talk to you. Well, let's go get this son of a bitch. What? They got two eyes? Only four months left until the entertainment event of the century. Becky Burlesque. Join the Kanja Tash in a sexy sex tent as they light up the afterlife and soothe the Hey. Expect me again? Do I know you? No, no, you humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you! Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan! You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Huh! Yeah, shot that. Not taking any chances. Huh! Dude's dead. Can we talk? No? You don't want to talk? Alrighty then. <laughs> no. You said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this, this place apart. apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Rumor has it some people want you, you dead. No, know anything about that? By that? Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. Few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see, not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. No. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are ours now. My Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. 
Aria wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Why are you shaking your head? Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Fair enough. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets nah, nah. others I'll fight be his muscle. battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be... You could be my Trent. Trent? Fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Give me those assassins' names. Find the flags in on the uh, afterlife and kill them. What, 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 what was that? Um, find the thugs in and kill them on behalf of. Um, what was this? Either force to go into Iron or find another way to deal with the thugs. Oh, okay. Well, the part of these blue sands are here. Deserved what he, got. he did. No? Not these blue suns? I got a mate and a ship. I only brought one of them with me to Omega. Okay. Looking for some out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's Krant? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. Oh. Get killed. <laughs> you vulture looking for something? Oh, that's where it was down here. Killed them all. Oh, he's really Everyone happy. Everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. <laughs> By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. I don't care. I'll have her too. Let's go speak to Grizz. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? I'm good for now. Of course. Okay. This shit tastes like poison anyway. <laughs> We got a new bartender now. It is. Your Grizz. Your Grizzy. What's your. What you want? What you want? Arya wants to speak with you, human. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassins. Just Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men sent here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. <laughs> You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Cash. I'm not looking for payment from you. Look at you. So proud. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. 
long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. Huh. The details are complicated. Oh, and in your favor. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. Me. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch, he was something different. A powerful friend. I assume you decided he was too strong, even as an ally? No. He cast the first stone. Wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Superior intel? Assassination? No. That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course, I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something we in a story come up with. If you want. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and, and an example. example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually Your death was down. Whatever you need will come out on its own. Maybe I'll be here. With cover smart smuggled. You want to talk? Talk to Arya. Hey, Guz, you got something else? Nothing to see here. I guess not. Give me another drink, love. Alrighty, well thank you all for watching, catch you next time and peace.